Welcome back everybody. This is another GTA 5 tutorial. In this video, we will look at how to uh, put shaders on your car, how to add colors to your car parts so it's, it's, um, it's shown in the game. So without these shaders, uh, your, your car will be just transparent. So you need to assign these shaders to uh, to make to give your car a paint job um, to give your car a type of material like it's either a paint a mesh uh, in the sample model there's a range of things uh, material there but uh, that's what we're going to look at today so we'll add, uh, we add a color to our car and and apply it to a number of parts including the windows the car body, the tires, and the bumpers. But um, before we start, I'll just quickly show you this information page. Um, I'm going to talk about the car material and shaders. Um, in the game, there, there are these shaders that's stored in the game, and it's identified with the these name at the end. So when, when you create a tool, you gotta give them these names and there's a specific um, rendering, graphics rendering technique will be used. So for example, for paint, there's a reflective finish applied to the paint and um, you gotta apply material in a specific way. So if you need to name the paints, you can give it a name here, but for the second bit, you gotta indicate the shader and also just indicate CLR double dot one that will tell the game to use that one first number two is just the option so um, I'll think about it and one more thing for the paint you have to apply the layer technique in a specific way so layer one has to be um, it's going to use this map and it's going to be UV wet UV1 for number 2 you're going to use a specific map and make it UV2 number 3 it's UV1 but um but that's that's shader in a nutshell so I'll post this link in the description for you to have a look at but we're going to mainly use the paint shaders paint 1 and paint 3 Okay, so um, the material ed editor is this red, red button. If you click on that, it will show up. And we're going to use paint 1. Actually, I'm going to use paint 3. I like this. This is spec map. Free. And just use PNG. PNG seems to work fine. So save that in there, close that off. Now for the first level map, go add and put your paint map on there. So it was paint free PNG. Click OK. And click OK. Um, if it doesn't assign to your car like this, what you need to do is go select by name and select all the level ones for your um level zero actually so chassis bonnet boot actually the boot is a black color so the bumpers as well so just go in and select your car parts for the doors yep the, the door is paint color window is another material 
window doors. And just select the wood and also the body show. Click on select, that will select all the material like. And just go in here, click assign to selection. And that should make your car this color. And I'm gonna go ahead and make another material. I'll make it a black for the bumpers. And I'll just hide these dummies collision, I mean collision files collision so we can see the car okay so um, I've done the bumper already but for the tire I'll do it for the tire so let's just do that again the tire has its own shader so um, I'm gonna load in a dark gray color map I've done I'll create that already you can do that again as well. Just go into go into paint and make um, create a new picture with the color and just pick that on there. Click apply and it should be really dark like that. And you can go back to the documents and have a look, see how the method to apply this color. But I'll just leave it as one, um, I'll just ignore the specular map, the bump maps. And just go OK. Now I'm going to select the car wheel. S turn selection off. Look for tires, wheel. Wheel mesh 1, 0 and 1. And go to material go to tire click assign click ok now just deselect and now you have a tool on your wheel but yeah that's basically how you apply the the um, colors for your model without the colors it won't show in the game it will be just transparent but um, yeah, just go. You gotta experiment with that yourself. It's a bit tricky to do all of that um, to find a realistic color and to do all of that. But I found that for some of the shader, it's really shiny. Let's say for for ver glass for mesh. It's really shiny. If I put that onto the bumper, it looks like a really shiny, glossy bumper. So I found that use paint, paint three or paint one for the shaders on most of your part, your car will look fine. So so that's it. So that's how you apply the colors. Experiment with the maps, try different techniques, and this one should be on current, yep. Uh, and try that in, in the games, see how you go, but uh, that's base, this is a basic tutorial on uh, map, uh, giving up paint to your car parts in GTA 4. If you have any question, let me know. But that's it, see you, see you in the next video everybody.